This is Torontopia, your channel for everything Toronto. When I travel to other cities, I'm always curious to see what is it like at the end of the subway line and also the border of the city. What does the border of the city look like? Well, that's exactly what this video is going to do. We are, we are in the Finch subway station, which is the very last subway station on the Young Street line. It's basically the end of the line from here. We're going to hop on a bus and go to the end of the city. Right here we are at the north end of the North York City Centre, which is basically downtown North York. North York is a part of Toronto. It's the northern part, it's at the end of Young Street. If you go straight up Young Street, you will cross the 401 Highway. And once you, cross, once you go under that highway, you are in basically downtown North York and it goes all the way just past Finch, which is where we are coming out here on the bus. Now this bus ride is going to go straight up Young Street to Steeles Avenue, and Steeles Avenue is the border of the city. So once you get north of there, on the west side you're in Vaughan, and on the east side you're in Markham. It's basically the Young is the dividing line between the two cities up there. Now that's where we're heading now. And uh, starting off at the north end of the downtown North York City Center. This north end of the city is also changing really quickly. There's new buildings that are going up in this area and right coming up soon we have uh, Newtbrook Plaza, it's on the other side of the street and they're tearing down the whole plaza and they're redeveloping it with condominium towers that are going to be up to 36 stories tall. So this whole area of northern Toronto, the North York part, is completely transforming changing and there is a plan to eventually extend the subway system to go north of Steeles so it'll go right outside the city of Toronto to the outer suburban areas. Right now this is mainly a car district. Very few you'll see very few people walking once you get north of Finch. There's not a lot of pedestrian traffic 
it's mostly um, strip malls. So there's there's retail lining the street, but there's always little parking areas in front. also has a high percentage of Persian people from uh, Persia so you have a lot of Lebanese restaurants and Arabic type restaurants uh, stores food all kinds of Persian stuff there you can get falafels they also are late late night I heard that there's some 24-hour uh, food stores there and restaurants that cater to the local community this neighborhood has a really interesting ethnic makeup. First of all, 66% of the people that live in this neighborhood are immigrants. And 58.5% are visible minorities. And it breaks down like this. Um, the Filipinos are the number one ethnic group, followed by the Chinese, Russians, Koreans, Iranians, Jewish, Italian and Ukrainians. How many other cities in the world have neighborhoods with a foreign population that's 66%? That's really high. And the fact that they're from like all over the world, from all over Europe, Asia, all different parts make it really interesting. I don't think there is any other city in the world that has such a diverse and large ethnic population as Toronto. Basically you have like people from everywhere in this one city. Right here we have Centerpoint Mall coming up and that's a suburban style shopping mall but that also is going to be redeveloped into condos. So this whole area is really eventually going to completely change. The Center Point Mall is a typical suburban mall. They have a little food court there with all the regular stuff like Tim Hortons and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, the main stores there are Canadian Tire. They have a Dollarama. They have a Mini Soap. They got no frills. There's a beer store. There's the EB game store. So it's got the uh, same corporate stores that a lot of other suburban malls have. Um, it's not going to be around all that long because like I said, they are going to tear it all down and build condo towers, probably 30 to 40 stories tall. And if you go just north of here in Markham, there's like 30 to 40 story uh, condo towers just a little bit north of here. So these condo towers are basically heading into the suburbs. Officially at the end of the city of Toronto. Once you get to Steeles Avenue, uh, this bus goes west on Steeles, but north of Steeles, you are in uh, Markham on the east side and you are in Vaughan on the west side. So basically, this is the end of uh, Toronto. And if you're on a, bu a TTC bus that's going north of Steeles, there are some buses that go north of Steeles. You have to pay a double fare because now you got to pay for Vaughan Transit. So be careful if you're going to go north of the city because you are going to pay uh, extra for your ride. <laughs> 